Get started. Uh, just injury update as far as practice goes. The only guy that will not practice will be Tyler Croft. Um, with that, we'll open it up for your question. Sean, what's the hope on Croft? I mean, I know it's it's been a summer long wait, but what is a realistic hope to get him back on the field? Yeah, I mean, I, I think this. The information we're getting from from uh, our medical staff is it's been very positive. He's worked extremely hard and he's making a lot of progress um, in terms of when. Um, I couldn't tell you that at this point, Sal, but uh, we're hopeful for some time in the first uh, first couple games here. So going into this game, then, you've got some young people playing tight end. Um, how much of that is going to factor into how you, you know, how you utilize them? Because they are two two rookies and, you know, a blocker. Yeah, no, I think that that's true uh, when you look at, um, you know, their team. They're an experienced team. And um, look at our team. We're, we're a younger team than they are. And, um, so they've got a lot of experience, and, and we don't – at this, at this position, so um, we've got to have a good game plan and, and a good week of practice. Sean, this will be the first time you're getting Quentin Spain back on the practice field. Um, how much are you trying to put on his plate today? Yeah, we'll just see how practice goes, uh, see how he feels out there, and uh, just kind of take a one rep at that. And how are you, now that you can, now that Mitch Morris is out of the conduction protocol and you're able to talk about him, I mean, what level of concerns or confidence do you have of him having missed all this time, you know, preparing for the start of the season? Uh, you know, we're, we're a go at this point. So uh, we have full confidence in Mitch and full confidence in our medical staff and that he's been cleared and, and uh, you know, he's, he was in meetings uh, digesting the game plan this morning and, and I'm sure as he'll tell you he's ready to go. How much does it mean to, to have him back in there, your anchor, all that that position is and certainly what drove you to, to spend the money to get him here? What, what's it mean? Yeah, I mean, I feel good about Mitch. I feel good about um, you know the other members of the offensive line as well. So he's, he's one, one piece of that group. Um, it's, an, it's an important group to our success. And as you've seen, uh, we've, had, we've had people move around up front, um, and, and that's been good for us. It's, I think it's developed some resiliency and, and some toughness. Hey, Sean, we haven't had a time, chance to speak to you, but uh, since McCoy was released and then <laughs> Um, if you could share some thoughts on that, and then the second part would be, Brandon kind of insinuated the other day that it's going to be running back by committee at least early in the year. Could you maybe share a few thoughts on what the plan is there? Yeah, I mean, those are tough decisions. Uh, that was a tough decision, and LaShawn's a good, real good football player. Um, you know, I know myself, along with everyone in the, in the building, wishes him nothing, nothing but the best, and um, we'll always root for him. You know, it's like I said, whether it's that decision or other decisions we make, they're always we're always going to try and make the decision that we feel is best for our team. Um, and as it relates to the running back position, uh, we feel confident in the guys that we have. Um, they can execute uh, what we're trying to get done. Does the – you're confident in, certainly in the skills and the ability, but we mentioned experience a couple of times, um, and that isn't what you have, obviously, with the Devin Singletary. So how do you get past that? Is it – is it just the trust that he's got some wisdom beyond years? What, where do you, where's your mindset when it comes to that? Yeah, a little bit of both. Um, you know, when you watch, when we watch what he's been able to do in preseason, whether it be practice or the preseason games, and it's preseason, um, so we have to take that with a little bit of a, a grain of salt. But um, and then it's also a projection of, of um, um, you know showing our confidence in a young player that we we believe he can ascend and develop and. That's um, what we do as coaches, and that's what our players and the DNA of our players, um, these guys they take a lot of pride in what they do. Coach, do you have a landing spot for Cody Ford here this week? Yeah, we'll just take it one practice at a time. Um, he's played both guard and tackle. Um, we feel good about uh, both positions with Cody, so um, it'll just be one practice at a time. You know? Sean, it's kind of a unique situation. You have a coach you have faced for the last couple of years, but he was with a different team. Now he's got this roster you've also faced with different coaches. Does that make it more challenging to kind of blend the two together to game plan for this? No, I mean, it's, we, try and, we try and simplify it best we can. I mean, there are, there's different, um, different guess, dimensions, layers, if you will, that uh, you've got to go watch the Jets preseason, but then you, you, know, you know, we have young players say, why is – this team showing up that we're not playing that well. It's because of, of you know obviously Adam was in a different with a different team last year. So uh, and so it was so it was great. Uh, both very good, very very good offensive and defensive uh, coordinators, um, and uh, as well as their special teams coordinator. Uh, I think Brent does a really good job.
job at, at what he does, and, and um, so uh, we've got to have a really good week of preparation. Would it be fair to say that Davis Webb is going to get a lot of attention this week from your coaching staff? Uh, He's got some information you could probably it's glean. Good no, it's good to have. I mean, I mean we, we, don't, we don't do that for you know, there's, you know, people sometimes do that out there. We do it for the player um, and a chance to add good players to our team. Um, so we're happy to have them. So going back to Frank and Devin, they almost have a, a big brother, little brother relationship. Do you see any Frank Gore in Devin Singletary at this stage of his career? <laughs> uh, man, you know, I mean, there's there's – Devin's a good player, Frank's a good player. I don't ever want to, I think that'd be unfair to both to, to try and blend the two of them. Um, but, you know, I think it is nice to have Frank to to mentor Devin and some of the other younger players on the team, for sure. Yeah. You, you brought back uh, Cam Lewis on the practice squad. Can you talk about what you saw out of him this summer and how much confidence do you have if he ever ends up in a situation where he has to contribute? Yeah, I would feel good about Feel good about Cam. I mean, it's unfortunate that he had the concussion he did, and he missed the amount of time that he did, and and that's part of his development here with us is trying to get him. Um, you know, he's a couple weeks behind, um, so he's got some work to do, and this will be his first week of real real football and a taste of what what uh, the first regular season game and regular season games are all about overall. And um, he'll just take it one step at a time right now. What's different about Sam Darnold uh, now based on? You know, compared to when you last saw him. Yeah, he looks, um, you know, uh, like he's composed. And I don't, I don't think that's different. Uh, I think we're seeing a good, solid quarterback that's uh, that's young, but, but but progressing and developing. And um, we'll have our work cut out for us defensively uh, because of what he does and what he does in between plays and um, you know the no huddle that they run. And, Things like that. They've got a good offense with weapons. Um, you know, they went out and, and got um, you know some some weapons this off season with Le'Veon and and um, obviously Crowder and everything. In addition to Robbie Anderson there, and we, we have a lot of respect for. So um, they're a very formidable offense. What do you expect to see from Le'Veon? I mean, he hasn't been on the field in a, a long time. Are you going all the way back to the last time? He played in Pittsburgh to kind of see what he brings. Yeah, I mean, he's he's one of the best backs around the league. Um, and you know, he hasn't played for some time to point that set up. Um, it probably helps him. You know, he's, um, you know, elusive, tough to tough to bring down, and, um, you know, one of the best backs, in my opinion, in the game. 